season two of the OA premiered this Friday, March 22nd, and um, I waxed it off real quick. I started Friday evening and finished it Saturday morning, which like now I'm depressed because if you guys know, it came out 2016, season one, and I've been waiting since the end of 2016 for a season two. They finally did it and um it's over just like that so now i'm like depressed about it but anyways brit marling is fantastic writer like this season two was even more it wasn't as good as season one but it was very, still fantastic like the one thing that kind of made it not as great is that there was a lot more newer characters and a little bit more twists and turns which season one was just really simple you you follow the the breadcrumbs and you can get it right away so it starts with um this guy skating and all of a sudden he sees the oa standing there and he's frightened and he trips and falls and the guy wakes up so then you know it's a dream so he wakes up to this um, Asian lady knocking at, at his door and he's she's trying to get him to help her find her missing granddaughter and if you look I didn't realize this until episode five or six that it was actually Buck who was the missing granddaughter because in this new dimension which I didn't know was a new dimension until episode two but in this new dimension she's still a girl and she hasn't been transitioning but you, if you look closely, you see that it is book. So episode one is just basically him going around following clues and trying to figure out what happened to this girl. Where is she? And trying to find her. So he comes up on this house and he finds out through all his digging that there's this game that pays kids to solve these puzzles. And basically Michelle book is the only one that made it as far now she's missing so that's episode one close and whatever so episodes two start two starts and then it flashes back to the end of season one where the oa was shot and carried off by ambulance and then all of a sudden you see a new nina and she's speaking you know a russian accent and everything and then that's when oa jumps into this Nina so in this universe the new dimension she's not Prairie or the OA she's just Nina Azeroff and later on throughout the the season you realize or well, we find out that this Nina never got on the bus that made the OA blind so she was able to stay in Russia a little bit longer and her dad never died so she grew up with her dad and the dad passed away just a few months before the OA arrived in this universe. So she still didn't get to see her dad, which was really sad. I felt sad for her. But um, yeah, she jumps into the new Nina and, you know, all of us, it's like, I would liken it to waking up from a dream. So she's like, oh my God, I got shot in the heart. You know, she's sitting there dying and she she's all of a sudden you hear her alive and she's like, oh my God, I got shot in the heart, shot in the heart. So they think she's crazy now at the hospital, so they lock her down. And lo and behold, she's locked down in a mental institute. Um, and the doctor is Hap. And all the other patients are everybody else from the original dimension. So, And then they, they explain how they got there. So basically, Hap poisoned all of them in the first universe in order for them to do the movements to jump into the new universe. So he jumped in and he's a doctor of the mental institute. The dude, Rachel and Renata are his patients and Homer is his one of his staff, which I find weird because Homer is actually he jumped but the whole season he was he's locked in the the new Homer's mind. So He's never, he never really appears until the very, very, very end. So she's locked down. She's trying to convince, you know, Homer of who he is and who Hap is and whatnot. And 
to no avail. So, you know, all the toiling and, and everything and the guy is still the detective, the PI. So here, Nina has this boyfriend who's kind of like an Elon Musk type character. And he, he's a huge tech guy. And he, um, he, he basically funded, like, they're trying to say he funded, like, the Uber and Lyft and, you know, all of that. And that's how he made all his money. So while this guy is digging some more, the PI, he, he comes across information that he's using, like, sleep study. And through these sleep studies, the people are basically dreaming, like, the same thing. So that's how he knows to invest in these companies to make him money and um more digging the the um pi finds out that nina new dimension nina wrote a book about the same thing you know years ago and that's what the this um experiment with the sleeping and the dreaming is based on is her book and she's part of everything in this universe so he goes to see her in the mental institute and she basically tells him, well, she plays the role and she tells him, if you can get me out of here, I'll tell you whatever you need to know. So he breaks her out. I mean, uh, rewind a little bit. Um, Rachel, the one that was the singer in this new universe, she got the brain injury. She can't communicate basically so she finds a way to communicate and tell everybody that you know house teenagers and maps so basically f they figured out that hap is trying to um something about the house and the teenagers and blah 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 hap is trying to do and blah 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 so yeah he breaks her out and she's trying to because she knows that nina knows something so she's trying to like retrace her footsteps and they come across this club and it turns out that she's like a, a performer. And she performs with this huge octopus that communicates, which is a direction that I didn't expect this movie to take. It, it seems, not movie, the show, it seems kind of outside of like the original idea. And it just kind of made it really... I don't know well, how, but I didn't really like that aspect. I, I, I would have rather it been something else and not an octopus. I would have rather it been like a psychic type thing. I don't know. But it was weird to me that here's this huge ass octopus and she performs with it. I guess he kills her every night and she comes back and she tells everybody her dreams and that's what the performance. But the octopus like he attaches to her and they're able to um communicate telepathically and he basically tells you know tells her like he knows who she is and she's not you know the nina and for her to tell everybody that she's away so he let it slip that um she has a brother and he was sent in every universe to protect her so all right, let me back up a little bit because in order for me to explain this, you got to know. Okay, so the huge tech guy is at Nina's boyfriend in this new dimension. So, but they never showed his face ever. They always showed, you know, his voice and blah, 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 a little image of him, but they never showed his voice. So I thought it was the FBI guy from season one who was in Prairie's house. So yeah, now he, the octopus tells her that she has a brother and that he's been sent there to protect her in every single universe so i'll you know right away it flashes to the fbi guy but i was like you know then it, he couldn't be the one that's her boyfriend because that would be gross you can't be her brother and her boyfriend so um that's that the octopus kills nina to show her something and she she she's like in the airplane and she walks up and this person with short blonde hair and she taps her shoulder and right as she's turning around she's awakened so she never got to see who it was so um 
after that, they follow a tunnel. He he recognizes the door from the game that all the kids was playing, the PI guy. And they follow the tunnel into the house and they, they find out that the house is this kind of a puzzle and each person that goes in witnesses something different. So they each, you know, go up and they each get locked into a whole different room. The OA falls into some trees and they kind of tell her like, you know, you, you need these people, you need Hap, you need Homer. Her, Hap and Homer are connected. Like without one, there can't be the other two. So they basically tell her like, you can't have Homer if Hap isn't around or, you know, whatever. So we know now that the three of them are gonna be, you know. So before that, Hap meets this other traveler. No, it was around the same time. Hap meets this other traveler and she, basically she knew he was a traveler too and she kind of gave him her, her form or her mode of travel. So now he learns that he can use these mechanical things and he doesn't need the people anymore to travel. So she gives him that. She also finds the OA and wait, was she the one? No, she was the one that told him that Hap, her and Homer are connected and each in each universe, the three of them are around each other in some way. So, um, yeah, they find a stairway into the house. She falls into the trees. The trees tell her, oh my God, we're the wind. We've been calling you. Um, you're this, you're that, you're that, 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 that. And, um, the PI goes into a room, which leads him into more rooms, into more rooms, into more rooms. And he comes across Zendaya, which I never mentioned her before. She kind of helped him with the puzzle and kind of explain to him what the puzzle is and how the kids were making money. And she's like this old ass lady in the house. So he like, you know, takes her out and brings her outside and she gets back to a young age. So oh, let me first say this, like I was really upset about all these new characters coming in, but then they threw in Zendaya and I was like, okay, I'm here for it. So after he rescues her, he sees something growing out of her ear and um you know he didn't know what it was so when everybody told him that you know there was mercury flowing into the house and make everybody hallucinate he kind of threw away everything he saw as um being you know a hallucination so after that um what happened he went back into the house one more time because the OA came to him and basically explained to him, like, I'm a traveler, I'm not from this dimension, but he thought she was crazy. So he's still on his um, his PI stuff and it leads him to the huge tech guy's house. And the tech guy explains to him that, yeah, everybody started seeing these the same images, the same four images, you know, the tunnel, the staircase, and the window and they also saw him and everybody you know described him and you know he was in complete shock and they told him yeah this house is calling you and calling you alone and it wants to show you something so now he's off um he goes back into the house and while he's searching the house and and whatnot the oa finally decides to release Nina's consciousness so that they can both you know exist in the, that reality so she decides to use it to go back to Hap because Hap and Nina in this universe they this Hap Nina the the tech guy boyfriend they're all connected with this whole experiment so she goes to use them to find out what he's trying to do and she finds out that, well, he tells her, oh, everybody that goes into the house, like something awakens in them, like a seed. And it starts to grow out of, you know, starts to grow through their ear. And with these um, flowers that bloom, he can kind of 
pick and choose where he wants to travel to if he eats it during the whole movements and, and traveling scenario. So in, in the in his private room, she sees a whole bunch of flowers in this pool. But then when she gets closer, she sees that it's um she sees that it's like people that she knows, like the boys from the first dimension, like not Rachel, but um the the one guy that was locked up in there with them. And she basically broke down to him and was like, you know, scared the shit out of him because he started running at that point. But then he traps her and, you know, the machines start coming and start doing the thing. So now she's in the middle. That means she was, um, she's going to travel. So he gets in there with her and eats a plant. So now let's put that on hold. Back in reality one, I don't know how I skipped over all of this. The boys and BBA come back together and um, Buck actually, did I tell you that Rachel died? He killed Rachel because she saw all of this before, you know, he showed it to, Hap killed um, Rachel before she, he told the OA what's going on. So he killed her and buried her and somehow her spirit was able to contact Buck and she sung these notes but then buck was trying to convince everybody and you know buck is in um the choir or some chorus thing so one of the guys asked him what's the notes and she said bba so they you know had to search for bba and she's starting to have hallucinations and stuff so she thought she was going crazy but then it turns out that she was supposed to help the other kid, I forgot his name. He was like the one that's all depressed and stuff because he doesn't have any parents and whatnot. But then by the time she realized it was him, he already killed himself. So now we're down one kid. And, um, which was sad. Like, it was real sad. And then they all try to do the movements to revive him and stuff, but they stop. And, you know, together... This is so, it is so crazy. It's so much going on in the show and it's so amazing. So they contact the FBI guy because he's like, you know what? We're not fugitives. We're not, she didn't kidnap us, kidnap us because they're on the road with BBA. So now, you know, the parents, they didn't tell their parents and the parents are looking for them. They think that BBA kidnapped them. So French calls this, the uh, FBI guy who, I thought was the boyfriend and the brother to help him and he kind of basically gave them clues and tells them like I'm her brother so you're like okay so I was like I was right and they go to the same asylum in their dimension that the OA is in in the other dimension and in this the first dimension it's completely broke down. Nobody's there. It's abandoned. So, um, so they, they go around and they kind of, while the FBI guy was talking, he told BBA that she wasn't going crazy. She can actually feel the other dimensions and feel what's going on in them. So this leads them to the asylum. She's walking around. She's able to tell which room the OA is in. So they follow her outside and somehow she knew that they had to start doing the movements. The same time Hap had the machines doing the movements and the same time the PI was in the house and, you know, looking for Michelle. So, you know, Hap eats the thing. It starts the, the whole transform, not transformation, the, the transportation and, you know, PI guys walking up to the window because the window shows everybody different things and a lot of them can't handle it so that's where it leads into that window and he's looking for michelle he opens the window the kids are doing the movements hap is and and the oa are doing all of that so while hap is holding her hostage in that little area homer walks up punches him yeah he finally remembered in the last 
basically the last 10 minutes of the season who he was and they're not they're like apart again like they she spent all season one looking for him all season two looking for him and when he punched Hap down he turned around and shot him so now he's basically dead but we feel that he's gonna be transported to to the new universe where Hap and OA is going so she's he's looking through the pi is looking through the window all of a sudden he sees the oa floating up you know with this huge light around her and he's like oh my god and something happens and she falls and like hits her head and then while he's looking through the window he sees that it's like a, a movie set or a, a a show set and the actors like it's he's on a set basically but he's looking out the window they can't see him but they can he can see them and he sees buck walking in on the set and he yells out michelle like come up and she climbs up to the window he pulls her in she wakes up from her coma and you know he's back out of the house i think so now you know this new well he saw into the new dimension that's what the window showed him when you know oa fell and hap is there also so i guess they're um actors in this new dimension which is actually their true selves in this new dimension because she's referred to as brit which is her real name and he's referred to as is his name brian some shit like that and he's um english so I don't know how they're going to spin this in this new dimension. Um, but then as she she hurt her head real bad and she takes off the wig and you see her with a short blonde haircut. And then I realized that in that dream she had when she was dead from the octopus, the person had the same haircut and she, you know, she never got to see the face. So she's hurt she um they get carried her in the ambulance in this new world hap is her husband and he has the british accent or english accent i don't know and you see steve chasing down the ambulance steve is the, is the kid from the first universe he's chasing down the ambulance and he gets in it and he looks at hap and he's like and he calls no i think he says hi hap so now hap knows that he's from universe one and he knows who he is so like we i know we have to wait like a year hopefully it's only a year for season three like this show is amazing like there was so much little like i said it was a lot more twists and turns and new people and all of that coming but it was the same concept it's the same mind bending you know it, it gets you thinking and I think this the creators are like on a different level intellectually and I definitely recommend it I'll probably watch it again in a few months when you know when the new season is coming out but like definitely 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 recommend this show if you're like into the supernatural if you're into the crazy it's not crazy it's not completely out there but it's how do I explain it it's like real life crazy no not even real life craziness it's like simple it's not this big theatrics like you know Netflix has all these big theatrical um huge explosions use this use this it's just very simple and i think it's because it's not an american film it's not film series i think it i think they film in in canada or something like that and i think that's where brit is from i'm not sure but i think that's why they their filmography their um all of that is very simple if you watch you know foreign shows as opposed to american shows you'll see that the cinematography is very simple and very clean and that's what i like about it and um 
I think that's what gives it that extra push into being so amazing because you know and like I try my hardest not to watch it all at one time but every episode ended on a cliffhanger so it's like one more one more one more and then I was at the end and like almost cried but so now we know in this new universe her and Hap are actors which means Homer is probably probably works on the set somewhere um the kids have and and bba are there and um this house i don't know like because they said it shows them different things so now the pi knows that they're different universes i don't know how they're gonna flip that but and now we know that the fbi guy is her brother and he's gonna be there because he like i said he's sent there to protect her so I'm really excited to see where they take all of this and I mean I guess that's it if I missed anything you guys let me know